Would you like to automate your approval process? Well, let me show you how with JotForm's approval flow. Hey JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the features landing page for automating your approval flow. Now, if you would like to make the approval and denial of request super seamless, this is the way to do it. Now, we're gonna cover everything on the screen, but if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below, of course, but come back to this features landing page. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the top. Let's go ahead and choose my forms, and let's go ahead and create a brand new form from scratch on the classic form. And let's go ahead and make this as simple as possible. Let's do this kind of like a time off request. I'm gonna go ahead and do a full name, email, and then let's go ahead and do our date picker. And we can choose the properties and we can make this one required, as well as we can turn on that calendar pop-up. And while we're here, let's go ahead and make both of these fills required as well. Now we have our time off request. We can go ahead and change this. So that way we can have that heading, but it also is going to rename our overall form title. But let's go ahead and head to settings. Then over on the left-hand side, we have our approval flow and we can create an approval flow from here. Now we can see our time off request form at the very top. We see the approval is going to go to me, the form creator. However, if we would like to edit that, we can choose our settings and we can either remove myself or we can add more people as well. Now, once you start adding multiple approvers, you can play with the completion rule, which is right underneath. So we can require a response from the majority. We can require a response from everyone. We can require a response from just one person, or we can require a certain number of responses as well. From here, we can also add an additional outcome. So let's go ahead and add another outcome and we can edit this. We can send to HR, perfect. And we are good to go from here. So let's go ahead and we can now take this over here. We have our selector outcome is sent to HR. Then we're going to add an element here on the left hand side. We'll go ahead and put that email here. We'll choose our settings and we can choose our recipients and we can have this be our HR email. Perfect, save. And now we also wanna make sure that we bring down this to the end as well. Now with the request denied and the request approved, we can also edit these emails as well. If we would like to edit anything in the email or the subject, we can do that here. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and go to publish. Let's open in a new tab and let's fill out. And we'll submit. Perfect, all right, let's head back over. And right now we're in approvals, but we can come over to our inbox and we can see we have Jasmine's request here as well as in our emails. So from here, we have these three dots on the right hand side. We have a lot of things to play with. We can download this, we can print, we can customize, we can even cancel the approval request or restart the entire process. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and just say approved and then we can choose approve. And we can see that a notification email was sent to Jasmine that her request was approved. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize the approval flow process, let us know down below in the comments and don't forget to check out that approval flow landing page. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.